This is a great concept, a concept that's long overdue. But I think if people begin to pay attention to what's happening in state government, and particularly in their state legislatures, I think that there could really have an important impact on the way in which government is perceived in this country. But you have a whole other audience out there that's getting lost and falling through the cracks. And anyway, we can bring them into the conversation using the technological tools that are at our hands. We can do creative, interesting things with video. What is equally important is that you have authentic people, not, not people who are obviously uh, rounded off at all the edges for television. The, the timing of State Line is perfect. They, the states are on the cutting edge of problem solving, yet no one, no news program focuses on the state. This is a percolator kind of show as opposed to a decolator. Hello, I'm Dan Sprague, Executive Director of the Council of State Governments, and we're particularly pleased to tell you about a dynamic new program called State Line, a TV news magazine on the cutting edge of the American political scene in all 50 states. We live in turbulent, fast-paced times, and we are all deeply affected by it. But if you want to see how this is affecting our political life, you have to look to the states. That's where we clearly see innovative leadership. And speaking of innovative leadership, here is our chairman, Ohio Senate President Stan Aronoff. Welcome. Thank you, Dan. State Line is the Council of State Government's effort in promoting excellence in state government. State Line will be seen nationally on public television stations across the country. In my opinion, this is an interesting and creative way to keep you informed on state government issues. We already have many media programs dealing with the activities of Congress or the administration. Now is the time, and the time is right, for a news program about state issues. State Line TV takes you outside Washington, D.C., and brings you to where some of us think the real action is. So more and more of this action is taking place not in Washington, D.C., but in the 50 state capitals, as well as the communities surrounding those capitals. So as we can enhance that communication, it's going to make us more effective here at the federal level in this partnership with our, our state leaders and our local leaders. You know, let's see what they're saying in the country and what they're doing out there and see how it applies to Washington as opposed to let's see what they're saying in Washington and see how it applies to the rest of the country. There's a great old campaign slogan, pick a state, but it's, uh, uh, you know, I think what we need is more Kentucky thinking in Washington and less Washington thinking in Kentucky, and it's always a guaranteed applause line. This uh, centralization of power inside the Beltway is new to this country. Our country was built on a decentralized government. We're merely returning to whence we began. Uh, and secondly, we're not solving problems at the national level. The states are solving problems. Think about it. In the last 12 to 18 months, we've heard about three strikes and you're out, about reforms in health care, welfare, education, about cutting taxes, and reducing the size of government and about same-sex marriage and its public policy treatment. All these hot issues are being challenged and decided at the state level. As current chairman of the Western Governors Association, I know how the economies and resources of the Western states vary from other regions of the country. State Line TV can help us identify those issues of regional importance and at the same time focus on all the states. That's a win-win concept for public affairs television. While the national spotlight is constantly on the Congress here in Washington, D.C., it may be actually the workings of the 50 legislatures in the various state capitals that in the end mean more to Americans where they live and work. It'd be different to see someone else's perspective on it, like a regular person, you know, see what they have to say, and not some talking head who's getting paid. Do you think a show like Stateline TV that goes out to the people into all 50 states would, would, would help? I think it would do more than help. It would be terrific because you got to talk to the people that know what's going on. It sounds like a show that you could also uh, use to educate kids, you know, high school, having them watch it. 
as a nationally respected columnist and TV analyst, do you think that this is the type of show that would draw a large audience? I think it would draw a significant audience immediately among opinion leaders, and I would hope that over time you'd get a very broad public for it. It's long overdue. I am delighted, and I think the audience for it will be exponential. I think by having the program originating from out in the States, from showing, sort of being out there where the rubber meets the road, where the government people come together, people will have a more of a sense that it matters, and that's particularly important to young people who don't vote as much as they should, who aren't as involved as they should, who feel a sense of helplessness and powerlessness. Um, and I think giving them more information about what's going on, how they can affect it, um, why it matters, is tre tremendously important, and it will create the kinds of habits among our citizens that we as a society desperately need. State Line TV will bring state decision-making closer to home. It will bring you inside the governor's office, and inside your legislature. It will discuss important issues like education, taxes, the workplace, health care, and our environment. And it will seek your advice, the citizen view, on how state government can best serve the people of the United States. I'm going to watch State Line TV. I encourage you to tune in as well. State Line TV obviously has my enthusiastic support, but we need your partnership to make it happen. The time is right, and we intend to make State Line TV a reality. Won't you join us in supporting this groundbreaking initiative?